Hello everyone, welcome into today's reaction video. It is time, we are here. The pilot has dropped for The Last of Us HBO show and I am so excited. My name is Kale, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for clicking on this video. It's nice to meet you, it's nice to see you, welcome in. Disclaimers, we need to get them out of the way right now. So this is a first time viewing reaction, yes, because it's a brand new show. Every reaction is going to be a first time viewing reaction. However, I do know the story of these games very well. I haven't played them myself because I don't own a PlayStation. However, I have watched two full playthroughs of both games and the DLC. I've watched countless streams on Twitch of people playing this game. I've watched so many lore videos about the infected and the characters and the story and whatever else. And right now, one of my guilty pleasures is watching people's grounded runs. So the grounded setting in the games, which is the most difficult setting. I am fascinated with how talented people are at the combat in these games. So I've been watching those a lot. Uh, I'm very excited to play these games for the first time myself. Part one is finally releasing on PC in March and I have pre-ordered it and I will be streaming that on Twitch starting in March. So if you wanna come watch my actual first playthrough of this game, <laughs> Uh, my link to Twitch will be down in the description and the pinned comment. I stream three times a week. I'm pretty sure The Last of Us will be happening on Friday mornings in Mountain Standard Time. So come hang out. I always ask you guys for no spoilers on stuff that I've watched here on the channel and I'm currently watching such as Star Wars and the MCU and the majority of you are very respectful in that. So going into the show, I know that there's probably many of you out there that have no idea what the story is for this show because you've never played the games, you've never watched gameplay of it, you just don't know. So I am committing that my reactions are going to be spoiler free. And then the thoughts and review section of my videos will be split into two sections. The first will be a spoiler free thoughts and review on the episode. And then at the very end of each of my episode reaction videos, I am going to have a section that will include spoilers because I already know that I'm going to want to speculate on how the show is going to handle future scenes and how certain things are going to play out, etc, etc. So I will commit to doing that. I will have it time stamped and I will also have like a verbal warning in the video that the section is going to come. So for those of you that don't want spoilers on the story itself, I urge you to not watch the end of my videos, which I realize is a weird ask from a YouTube creator. We typically want you to watch the whole video, but in this case, <laughs> I am urging you to exit out before that section if you do not know the story at all about The Last of Us. I would also recommend that if you don't want spoilers on the story, please do not go into the comment section on these videos because I will not be moderating them the same way that I do for anything else. If people do want to leave comments about the games and how the show might handle certain scenes coming up, I'm not going to be particular about that because I do want to talk about that with people. So go through my comments at your own risk. As always, going to do my little Patreon plug to say that if you want to watch the full length watch alongs, bring your own copy of these episodes, come hang out on Patreon with us. They will all be uploaded there. And with that, you do also get access to everything that I have watched here on my YouTube channel. It is one of the best ways to support the channel and what I'm doing. And if you do decide to sign up, I thank you in advance. And free things you can do is you can like this video, you can hit the subscribe button, and you can hit that notification bell so you get notified of all my premieres, live streams, and video uploads. And finally, a huge thank you to Chad Jenkins 4876 for leaving this comment on my little sappy appreciation post that I shared on my community tab back on New Year's Eve. Thank you so, so much for your kind words. It means a lot, and I appreciate you. All right, everyone, it is officially time to press play. Pilot, Last of Us, here we go. And that's your biggest worry? Yes, any kind of virus, but most probably something similar to- Oh, 1968, what? Pan meaning all, the whole world becomes sick all at once. Fungus, because there are some fungi who seek not to kill, but to control. Viruses can make us ill, but fungi can alter our very minds, like a puppeteer with a marionette. This is a great, great, just explanatory intro to this show. Fungal infection of this kind is real, but not in humans. True, fungi cannot survive if its host's internal temperature is over 94 degrees. But what if that were to change? What if, for instance, the world were to get slightly warmer. Billions of puppets with poisoned minds permanently fixed on one unifying goal, to spread the infection to every last human alive by any means necessary. I love how he's explaining this. The delivery, the voice, it's great. Oh, I'm so excited for this intro. The music, yay. Very cool intro. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. Now, are we do? It's just about to ask. Time jump? Yes. 2003. Here we go. 
was gonna make you birthday pancakes. Aww. I swear. How old are you again? 36. I'm gonna have to wear diapers soon. <laughs> he says I'm going already. <laughs> Is there enough for Uncle Tommy? In the water, man. <gasps> Tommy! Hey, I thought we were having pancakes. Wow, his voice sounds exactly like Tommy's from the game. Oh my god. Well, we could bring someone else on, get the job done faster. No, no. I'm not splitting this job up. That's a pleasant surprise, actually. Your t-shirt's inside out. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> He's losing it. Stash cash, always good. Hey, neighbor. Oh, hi. Uh, Connie was asking after you. I could come by after school, but just for like a little bit. Uh, she'll take what you got. Y'all want some biscuits? Dad, you love biscuits. We gotta run, but Sarah will be by later. She'll stay as long as you want. I'll let Connie know. <laughs> Austin, Texas, September 26th. Here we go. The filming in this is really good so far. I'm enjoying the shots. That hand twitching was not good. Just realized I forgot to mention in my intro that um, I live in Alberta and also this whole show is filmed here. So I'm going to be paying attention to locations to see if I recognize any because I recognized a couple of locations from the trailer, which is really cool. If I randomly just shout out locations, uh, I apologize in advance. 20's good. It's a spring. I'll do it right now. We're done for today. It's 3.15. We close at 7. You should go home. Hi, Mercy. No, there was just a lot of police and stuff on the road today. People out there need to get right with Jesus. Three nails plus one cross equals four given. Her face is like, okay. <laughs> Chocolate chip? Raisin. That's my expression when I'm being told that there's raisin cookies in the oven. I do not like raisins. Give me a hand? Be right there. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I figured something was going to happen with her. And the fact that we like can't see it clearly right now is freaky. Oh, that was really well done. I'm nervous, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dog knows something's up. Ooh, the way that was shot was cool. The news just say a street drug might be to blame. Sounds like something the news would say about something like this. You got me a present? <laughs> he was such a kid when he just said that. You got me a present? Oh, fixed it for you. Did you? What? I don't hear anything. <laughs> that was lame. I'm loving Pedro and I can't remember her name, but whoever's playing Sarah. And you were never going to do it for yourself, so. Thank you. Oh, there's one more. Borrowed from the Adlers. Oh, this is the one with the deleted scenes. Yeah. Imagine how bad those have to be. Oh, man. 2003 cell phones. Love it. Hello. Go help your brother, Joel. Go help Tommy. All right, 11 o'clock. Two o'clock. All that background sound was done really well. This feels scary now. Very scary. And we'll be in contact with further instructions. <laughs> Oh, no. Not Mercy. Oh. Mercy's yelling at you to go back inside. Come on, let's get you home. Mercy does not want to go. Mercy, no, 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 no. She's not in her wheelchair, that's for sure. Sick. Oh, God. Oh, the hair on the mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Or wait, that's not hair. That's fungus. Never mind. 
Okay, Sarah, now this is time to run. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, Get good. the truck! Good. Right now! Oh wow. Sarah in the truck. Oh, this acting is so good. This acting is so good. Oh, that was creepy. That was so well done. You killed her. Baby, I'm sorry. Joel, we gotta go. Sarah, listen to me. It's not just the Adlers, but we're gonna be brave. This feels just like the video game. Oh my god. Daddy. We don't know. They're saying it's a virus, some kind of parasite. Wow. It's Jimmy's place. Woof. This is good. <laughs> we can put him in the back. Oh, Sarah. Everybody had the same idea. I mean, yeah, everyone would want to do this. <laughs> Maybe it's everywhere. Logical. Whoa. It's so crazy seeing downtown Fort McLeod like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God, the plane. <gasps> I didn't realize that was what blew up in the trailer. Oh my God. Wow. Don't look. You look at me. It's kind of hard to not look, to be fair. Are you okay? Are you okay? My ankle. Right. Oh, okay. We gotta get off the ship! Shit! Come in! Head to the river, I'll find a way! Can you run? No. You keep your eyes on me, okay? okay. You don't look anywhere else. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell someone not to look <laughs> anywhere when this is all happening. Oh my god. Oh man, this is so good, but also so terrifying in live action. <laughs> oh, thanks, Tommy. Don't move. Oh, never mind. My daughter's hurt. Her ankle. Stop right there. I got two civilians by the river. One of them injured. Ankle. What about Uncle Tommy? Okay. I'm sorry, Pete. Hey, no one told you to move. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're not sick. We are not sick! I'm sorry. Please, don't. Thanks, Tommy. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. Move your hand, baby. This never gets easier to watch. I know, baby. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it hurts. I gotta get you up. You come on. You come on. I know, baby. No, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Tommy, help me! Joe, get up. Come on, baby. They did a really good job with that. <laughs> yeah, that does not get any easier to watch. Boston 2023. Everything looks really, really good. Just at like landscape looks great. What if I told you that after we gave you some medicine, we're gonna find you your favorite food to eat. It's just a little needle. Can't. This kind of job must be so difficult. I can't even imagine. Oh, every time the music plays, I'm just gonna. The Last of Us music is so good. Love this shot. This is great. Violation of EMC 342.3. Unauthorized exit from a quarantine zone. Oh, oh gosh. Oxy? Hydro. Supposedly only makes two things. Pills and bullets. Bullets and pills. The more you shoot people, the harder it is to sleep, I guess. <sighs> Stay off the streets for the next few nights. Fucking fireflies been blowing shit up all week. I'm loving Pedro's Joel so far. Absolutely loving. When you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. What do you want me to say, Tess? It's not like I planned on ripping you off. 
How about we just let it go? What do you want? I want you to forget this ever happened. Done. It's just a truck battery. I paid you for it, you sold it to someone else, and you spent my money. I mean, you think I've never done shit like that? What about your guy? I'll tell him that I got jumped by some guys, and I'd like to go home and drink till my face stops hurting. So are we Mid. good? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. We just had that with Tess so far. I'm really liking her actress and the portrayal so far. They're shooting! They're shooting at us! On your knees! Oh no, I thought it fell! Oh, <laughs> oh. Count slowly and clearly from one to ten. One, two, three, four. Slowly. One. Two. <laughs> Eight. Fuck you. <laughs> State your name, slowly. Veronica. Same as yesterday. And the day before? Let me out or you're gonna pay, mother... I'm not supposed to be here! That was good. I enjoyed that. <gasps> Sending messages? Nothing. If Tommy responded, we'd know. They gave him your message. They haven't seen or heard from him since. And that's it. Show me where the tower is. You can't be serious. <laughs> Joel, it's in Wyoming. All, all this open country? Yeah. There are worse things than infected out there. There are raiders. There are slavers. But you're sure Tommy's okay? Can't really be sure if you don't hear anything, right? That shot there with, like, the dust was really neat. Really enjoying these detail shots. Mm, it's a long way to Wyoming from Boston. <laughs> Not the watch. I watch this scene better days. Honestly, for the state of the world right now, this apartment actually looks not bad. I'm just going to mention that. I got jumped. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> Immediately like, what the fuck I just happened to you? It's a miracle you're alive. It's a miracle any of us are alive. True. Fair. He sold on battery to someone else. Nothing's lost. No shit like this is gonna happen. I need the battery, Tess. The truck's no good without one, and if I don't get to Tommy soon, he's gonna die out there. Robert is terrified of you. So you march out of here, I'll clean Eastwood, he's gonna- <laughs> Who'd he sell it to? Don't know. Well, where is he? Don't know, but we're gonna find out quietly. So let's go hunt that mother down <laughs> and get our battery and our truck. And then we'll go find Tommy. I want Fedra everywhere but here. I want them as distracted as possible because tonight, every firefly in Boston is going to gather in this building and you're going to leave the QZ permanently. We're taking that random girl locked in that room west. From our guy in the radio tower in Salem. Is this real? I believe it is. If I remember correctly, Marlene's actress uh, did the voice of Marlene in the video game. I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Don't worry, I don't want anything. <laughs> Joel's face is so Feeling suspicious. Lost. Tell me to look for the light and I'll break your jaw. <laughs> He's supposedly taking the battery to a red tagged building. But get this. Corner of Stillman and Cross. <laughs> so can I go? No. Where are you gonna go? Back to Federal Military School? You think I chose that place? They put me there when I was a baby. They didn't put you there. I did. Ellie. My fucking mom or something? And look like your mom? No, <laughs> you do not. I'm the leader of the Fireflies in the Boston QZ. Why would a terrorist dump me with Fedra? Terrorist? Was Riley a terrorist? Why won't you let me go? Because you have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined. What I'm about to tell you cannot be repeated to anyone. Because if you do, I assure you, you will die. Loved that scene. <laughs> And I'm enjoying Bella Ramsey's portrayal of Ellie so far a lot. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit. Nasty. This one's done. <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> yeah. No. Oh, the way that looks is so good. Wow. Maybe down here is where he was infected. Amazing. That looks so good. Whew. Everyone was cutting down on apartment sizes to sell more condos. Oh. This has been Construction <laughs> Corner with Joel Miller. How far are you? 
Ah, nice. Oh, gross. Well, the battery's no good. He still tried to sell it twice. <gasps> Joel? Marlene? So this is who Robert screwed us over with? The Che Guevara of Boston? What do you need a car battery for? Don't. Not at her. Point at me. I'm loving this scene so much. Question I need it for a better reason than you do. No offense, but Tommy's just one man. It's our business to know things. To know things. We were gonna move Ellie out of the zone tonight. So now I'm thinking you're gonna do it. The hell I'm not we going are. with them. Let me take her. Tess, we don't have time for this. Who is she? To you, she's cargo. We don't smuggle people. Sorry. I can do it. Kim, you don't have a fucking ear on your fucking head. Could you please? <laughs> Oh, God. And I know what you're both capable of. What are they capable of? <laughs> Get her there safely, and they'll give you what you need. Fueled up truck, guns, supplies, all of it. But she seems desperate. Firefly vehicle usually means repurpose Fedra stuff. So better than decent chance making it to Tommy in one of those. We'll get her to your crew at the state house. But before we hand her over, they give us everything that we want. You are all that matters. My team will not jeopardize that. Let's go. <laughs> A look on her face. <laughs> She's like, really? <laughs> all right, Marlene, take care of yourself. Give us a minute, all right? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Billboard book of number one hits, damn. The radio is a smuggling code, right? 60s song, they don't have anything new. 70s, they got new stuff. What's 80s? I didn't pick up on that. <laughs> Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll figure that out. Your watch is broken. I've never been on the other side of the wall. So what's the deal with you anyway? You're some kind of big wig's daughter or something? Something like that. <laughs> oh, the radio came on when you're sleeping. Like, wake me up before you go-go? <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> gotcha. 80s means trouble. Clever. Mm. I love the close-up shots on, like, his watch and her shoes and everything. It's great. Holy sh I really didn't realize that so much from the trailer was just from this first episode, but this is good because it means there's so much that wasn't in the trailer from later episodes that we just don't know or haven't seen. So super pumped for that. <gasps> guys, 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 go look ahead, look ahead. Or the hell? Oh no. Hey, hey don't, don't, don't move. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. Yeah. You're gonna be shit. <laughs> Get on your knees. You let us do this run, we'll split the cards with you. Hands on your head. Really, man? Yep. You're doing this by the book. Jesus. Risk my job for half off of your fucking mind. <laughs> Ellie, 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 what the fuck? Get out of the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Such a good shot. Ooh, hell yeah, Joel. No, 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 I'm not sick. No! I'm not sick. No! I'm not sick. No! Look, this is three weeks old. Nobody lasts more than a day. Yeah, time to Joel, go. We gotta move. We gotta move, Joel. Now. Y'all can talk about this later. <sighs> yeah, good call. Take the gun. Let's go. Do I know this song? <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. Looks great. That was good. All right, so this section is going to be my spoiler-free review of this episode. I will not talk about anything coming story-wise, just about this episode in particular. And like I said, I will have a spoiler section a little bit later on at the end. It's timestamped below, and I will give an indication of when I'm about to start talking about it. So first, if you liked this reaction, do me a solid hit that like button below to let me know. All right, so this episode was pretty much exactly what I was hoping for and expecting from this show, especially from the trailers. And yeah, this episode 100% delivered and I absolutely loved it. I had a feeling that at some point we were gonna get kind of like an explainy scene about exactly what fungal viruses are. And I wasn't expecting the show to actually kick off with that, but I was pleasantly surprised, especially since it took place in the late 60s and was kind of like interviewee style. 
uh, it was actually a welcome surprise. I really enjoyed how that scene was done. This episode starting with a lot more time spent with Joel and Sarah and Tommy to kind of establish these relationships was really good. And I actually found myself getting emotional during the scenes with Sarah when she was just by herself at the neighbor's house when she was at the repair shop, just kind of, you know, live in the day. And I, I really had to like hold it in because I knew that y'all were probably going to wonder why the hell I was crying. <laughs> at a scene that was not sad or emotional in any way, but based on the pacing of the episode, I knew that we were going to get Sarah's death scene in this episode and we were building up to that, obviously. So I found myself getting emotional as we were living through Sarah just going about her day. And I think that it made her death hit even harder than it does in the video games because of that additional time with her and the additional conversations, the additional relationship time with Joel and her. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was handled really, really well. And I appreciated it. I also appreciate that we kind of got to know the neighbors a little bit and spend some time with them because when the old woman suddenly showed that she was infectious, like that just really drove home things a little bit harder than it does in the video game. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. When everything started getting chaotic, the moment that they entered the truck all the way through until Sarah's death felt exactly like the video game. And I know that a TV show is an adaptation. It's not meant to be a copycat of the video game at all. And I'm not expecting it to be, I don't want it to be, but I do think for the biggest moments, if it can give us the same vibe as it did in the video game, but just in the TV show format, I think that's great. And that whole time, I felt like it was a video game and I was very pleasantly surprised by that. In fact, Sarah's death scene was just as impactful. In, in fact, for me, it was more impactful in live action compared to the video game. And I thought they did it really well. And also the soldier saying, I'm sorry, was unexpected and actually kind of like a whoa moment for me. Like, oh, okay, wow. It kind of humanized the soldiers a little bit because I mean, at the end of the day, like this fungus is, this virus is just ravaging through people so fast. And fungal viruses are so scary. And I don't know, that whole scene was great. Pedro's acting was fantastic. Sarah's actress, I can't remember her name now, but Sarah's actress, she acted that so well. The breathing, like the way that she was breathing and gasping for air felt very just whoa to me. And I just really appreciated that scene. I appreciated that whole moment, definitely the highlight of the episode for me, but to be fair, it's also the highlight of the start of the game. So <laughs> with a show like this, obviously there's going to be so many new scenes that aren't even in the video games at all. And then there's gonna be a lot of stuff that is reworked to just translate a lot better on screen in the live action format. But I really, really appreciate that uh, the vibe of the game is still coming through. So I think we can thank Neil for that. And yeah, just very impressed. With Sarah's death scene, especially since I knew it was coming, I tried my best to hold in my emotions until it was happening. But I think I started crying maybe like a minute before it happened because I just, I knew that we were right there. And I just, I couldn't help myself but get emotional during it. And yeah, that was a good cry. <laughs> Like I said, that scene will never be easy to watch. It's it's not an easy scene. It's, 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 it hurts. The way her death scene was done was definitely the moment where I was like, okay, yeah, this show's going to be good. I'm excited, even more excited than I was before. I was really looking forward to meeting Tess, Marlene, and Ellie, and I love all three. I think they're great. Really comes across well on screen with these actresses, but at the same time, each of them still kind of has their own uniqueness for this live action experience. Marlene in particular, because I did confirm the actress for Marlene did voice act for her in the game. So that is the only character where we're actually still getting kind of her video game. And I think in the live action vibe, she's doing really well. I'm really liking Marlene. Cannot wait for more Marlene. I feel bad for Bella Ramsey because prior to this episode dropping, they were getting so much hate online just because they don't look like Ellie does in the video game. And there is a much deeper problem here that I don't even want to talk about, about how picky people are being about the appearance of a 14 year old fictional girl. <laughs> But we're not going to get into that here. I knew for myself that Bella could really deliver on Ellie, and I think they're doing a fantastic job so far. Honestly, how Bella portrayed Ellie in this episode is kind of spot on for me. They're giving Ellie some uniqueness to her, but it doesn't feel like such a different character from Ellie in the video game. Like, honestly, the way that I feel is like Bella's Ellie is Ellie to me just in the live action. The Tess and Joel dynamic in this show, I am really enjoying. I really like Pedro and Anna's vibe together in these scenes. I thought that the scene where she kind of crawled into bed with him and wrapped her arm around him was actually really sweet. 
uh, just a little detail that I really enjoyed. And when he was asking her about the marks on her face and like what happened to her, uh, I don't know. I just, it felt like they had been working together for a really long time. It felt that they were really solid partners and I just really enjoyed the scene. But here's the thing, Pedro as Joel overall is just making me so, so happy. I really like his portrayal and actually we can say this about every character so far, but I like Joel in this show because it feels familiar, but at the same time it feels fresh. And we can say that about Ellie, we can say that about Tess, Marlene, Tommy, everyone. It's familiar, but it's fresh and that's exactly what I could ask from a show like this. Certainly how I felt going into this show was hoping for familiar but fresh and I think that that's exactly what we got. So it makes me happy and excited for the rest of the show. All right, touching on the infected real quick. A++ to all the actors that played infected in this episode and oh my gosh, I cannot wait for more. That felt terrifying, it felt real. It felt scary, I loved it. And especially major props to whoever was playing Mrs. Adler because that infection was definitely the most terrifying out of all the infected we saw. And I think it just really felt so terrifying because she was an elderly woman that basically wasn't really talking or didn't seem to really be aware of what was going on. And in infected mode, it was scary. <laughs> Location stuff and general atmosphere and vibe, really digging it. The only location I knew for sure was Fort McLeod, Alberta, which is where the plane explosion crash happened with all the people running around in that very like downtown feeling vibe. And I've been to Fort McLeod many times in my life and yeah, downtown Fort McLeod is just a really great filming location when you need just like that, the, the vibe with like the brick buildings and everything like that. Uh, scenes from Interstellar were also filmed in Fort McLeod and I believe on the exact same street actually that uh, we saw all of that happening in this Last of Us episode. Very cool to see that. I didn't like for sure recognize any other locations, but to be fair, like it was mostly just very dense uh, vibes and kind of neighborhood feeling could be anywhere. But I do think a lot of it was filmed in Calgary. I did recognize some of the buildings like in the very back of certain scenes that weren't shown very long. I was really paying attention to those kind of details and I will be for every episode because I'm just curious to see locations that I've been to many, many times in my life just shown in this way. And I just want to see like how they made it look. I know I said this during the reaction, but the attention to detail in this show so far is top notch. I love the close up shots of things like Ellie's shoes and Joel's watch and just their faces and everything else. The lighting in the show is great and just the general way that things feel. I don't know, the camera work is excellent. I am just really, really loving everything that I am seeing. It's great. One of the things I'm most excited for that is spoiler free is just getting to experience the general atmosphere of the United States in this post-apocalyptic world. I'm very excited to see locations. I'm very excited to see more buildings and just the rundown vibe and like the overgrowth and stuff. I'm just really excited to see how it looks in live action because obviously I'm very aware of how everything looks in the video games and I'm just super excited to see how our characters navigate sets, I guess, like the locations and everything that we're about to get into in future episodes. <sighs> All right, so for those of you that do not want any spoilers for the story, this is your cue to exit the video. I just wanna thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Again, make sure to hit that like button below and we will see you next week for episode two. And for those of you that wanna stick around, I'm about to start talking about things that I'm excited for without having to worry about spoiling anything, so. Let's get into it. All right, so the way that this episode portrayed two of the biggest scenes in Sarah's death and them trying to escape in the truck has me very excited for how the show is gonna handle future death scenes and other just like insanely big moments in this story. And seeing that infected person like fungied to the wall and stuck that scene with Joel and Tess has me very excited for just seeing more infected in general. The trailer shows us that we are gonna see a bloater. I have a feeling that the, blo the bloater that's in the trailer is the only bloater that we're gonna see in the show. I'm really confident that they're gonna make the scene like super exciting and terrifying and scary and tense based on how how this episode is played out and how scenes felt. I'm very confident about the bloater situation. I know that we're gonna see probably quite a number of clickers and obviously we're gonna get a lot more runners in this show, but the way that the infected were portrayed and looked in this episode alone, oh my God, I cannot wait. But I have a feeling that the show is only gonna sprinkle them in here and there. I hope that we get an infected encounter at least once per episode, that's my hope, because we need to remember what the world is and obviously the infected are very important to the overall story in the games. I know that the show probably doesn't wanna 
overdo it. So that's why I'm hoping for like at least one big encounter per episode, but fingers crossed, we'll see how it plays out. As for Joel and Ellie, I am now so excited to see the rest of their relationship evolve in this show just from this episode alone. Obviously we didn't get a ton of time with Joel and Ellie, but the way that Pedro and Bella are acting with each other, just in this initial meet and greet and just the start of their mission together. I am so excited for the next episode. I'm so excited for just the whole season. The scene in particular that I'm looking forward to the most actually is uh, the winter chapter of the game and the whole situation with David. Oh, it's gonna be so good, I cannot wait. I know that that's not for a while, but man, yeah, this episode, like as I was watching it, I kept thinking in my head like, man, I'm so excited for this and I'm so excited for this. But I think the thing that I'm definitely the most excited for is the David stuff. I'm honestly sitting here kind of like emotionally preparing myself for it. <laughs> One thing I want to touch on really quick is the change from Tess and Joel wanting weapons to a car battery. I think that that actually makes sense for this live action adaptation, uh, especially when we added in the whole like Joel not being able to contact Tommy or not hearing back from him to like wanting the truck battery to be able to go and try and find him. I actually really appreciate that change and uh, I'd like to know what some of you think about it. We've already seen a little bit in the Last of Us trailers about Tess and Joel finding out more about Ellie's immunity and how that all works and I am very excited for that. I have a feeling it's coming in the next episode but depending on the pacing it might not actually happen until the third episode but I can't remember how long the runtime is that the next episode is but I'm definitely looking forward to that. I'm also expecting that we may get the big test moment immediately in the next episode. If not the next episode, definitely episode three, but I'm already looking forward to seeing that play out. That one's gonna be rough, but oof, I'm excited. And with that, I think that wraps up all the thoughts I have about this pilot episode. That was such a joy to experience and watch, and I already cannot wait for episode two. Can this week go by fast? Thank you. <sighs> thank you so much for watching, and thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon for the support of the channel. It means the world. If you are not yet subscribed, please click here to do so and click that notification bell so that you get notified of all future videos, premieres, and live streams here on the channel. And if you want to continue on watching something, click over here. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.